another hot video from Andrew Tate. Stay tuned. Is your belief in God tied into this concept that we talked about that what's useful is more important than what's true or better than what's true? So we don't, do, do we know that God exists? I, I mean, we don't know, Correct. but it's useful to believe in God. That's a very good question. I think that believing in God certainly makes you more powerful, Yeah. which is proof for God. If right. God makes right. you more powerful, then God is real. Yeah. So maybe that's very simplistic, mm -hmm. but if I believe in God and I'm yes. a more powerful version of myself because I believe in him, then he must exist. Yes. God has made me more Love. powerful. Well, it's the act of believing him that makes him exist. It's another way of saying what it's you just said. Correct. Yeah. So this is why I believe faith is such an important thing. But I think everybody has a God anyway. Yes. There's no such thing as atheists. If you look at the people who say, oh, I don't believe in God, no. they worship a, a flag mm -hmm. and a vaccine. Yeah, yeah. So everyone believes in something. Yeah. So you have to decide what your religion is. And I, once again, refuse to believe in anything that takes away power from me. Mm -hmm. I believe in things that make me more powerful. And I believe that believing in God gives you a, a new degree of strength. And I also think everybody, to some degree, believes in God. I don't care what anybody says. If you put anyone in that submarine yes, yes, just yes, before yes. it imploded, everyone would pray. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. So uh, it's ignorant uh, to even say you don't believe in God at pray. this point. It's interesting oh God, that oh you God. chose Islam. And I, I heard you talk a little bit about how you see yeah. God in Islam uh, as kind of, you know, I don't know what harsh is, but like firm yep. and uh, directional and clear yep. and this is right and this is wrong, yep. which sounds a lot like your life. dad. Well, it sounds a lot like life. Yeah, like life. The, there's, there's right and wrong in life. Mm -hmm. All this complete subjectiveness, yes. this mush uh -huh. they're trying to create yeah. is done on purpose to confuse us. Yeah. I like the idea of right and wrong. I, I like the idea of not having a choice. If you walk in, if you're hungry and you walk in to buy a sandwich and there's a hundred sandwiches, it takes 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. If there's one sandwich, isn't life easier mm -hmm. sometimes? Yeah. So all this subjectiveness and all this choice and all this garbage, sometimes when I'm like, okay, I want to be a good person. I want a framework to adhere to that makes me a good person. Well, this is very clear. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, easy. Have you had, do you have like embodied experiences of God? Like, do you, do you relate to God in that way? Uh, you know, I want to say super. Yeah supernatural but um like do you feel god i absolutely feel him and there's certain times where i may feel particularly feel energetic god. when do you feel Shut god up. so usually when i'm feeling powerful uh-huh there's been times i was in jail and i just got up and i just felt like you know what yeah like just shadow boxed a bit i don't know it's <laughs> yeah. so like you just yeah. felt it like I'm, yeah. I'm i'll be okay i will yeah. win yeah. I, I don't feel god when i'm sad Shadow. or Shadow. something like that you, you i think one. that the whole idea of spirituality, and I believe God himself, he wants the best for you. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, yeah, how we're tying religion to, to my worldviews, because my worldviews were the same before religion. I guess before it was the cosmos, or just the way the universe works, or light, dark, yin, yang, etc. I still say these things, but now I attribute a lot more of it to spirituality, a lot more of it mm -hmm. to God. And yeah, I chose Islam because it's firm, and I believe that I'm a person with firm principles. So I'm obviously going to liken myself or I'm going to feel an affinity to a religion that has firm principles yeah. because that's who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. I'm a person who's principled, yes, no. I, and I have no problem with people sitting with me and saying yes. what you're saying is bigoted or what you're saying is wrong or what you're saying is insensitive. Mm -hmm. I think Islam also has a similar issue. Yeah, I think you also chose the winning team. Oh, it's completely the winning team. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the winning team. winning team. Whoever wants to join this winning team is very simple. Just go and take your shahada and you just joined the winning team and the most easiest and the most simplest religion ever is islam but when you are in outside you think that is the most difficult but i tell you that is the most easiest and the most understandable and the most logical and reasoning religion ever in this world don't forget to subscribe give us a like until we meet again assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh